But we start things off with a racing game set in the Banjo-Kazooie universe. Here's our review of Banjo Pilot. It's time to finally acknowledge the power of the bear. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. A game has finally come along to combine the ferociousness of a bear with the treacherousness of a flying bear. That game, Banjo Pilot. And what a deliverance Banjo Pilot is. Bears all around the world have come to the X-Play offices to let us know how happy they are with Banjo Pilot. They can barely contain their glee with this one. Card-style racing games are nothing new, but they barely bothered to scratch the surface of what can be done. So adding planes seems a perfectly logical way to do things. I mean, who doesn't like flying bears? It's no secret what you get with Banjo Pilot. Power-ups, choice of races, and fun, silly characters doing fun, silly things. Though, why a bird needs to fly around in a plane is a mystery we can barely comprehend. Speaking of bears... Yeah, I know, it was like having one of those tough days. Really tense right there, you know. Obviously, because we've seen it all in this blasé society we live in. You'll be able to unlock even more characters as you move through the game. Like the lovely and talented Humba Wumba. She's tough. She'll get knocked down. But she'll get up again. You're never going to keep her down. Not even you, Mr. Bear. Let's talk tracks. They're not 14, not 15, but 16. Yes, 16 tracks for you to drive through. I can't bear all this excitement. And let's not forget the boss dog fights, which are just unbearable. Bear left, Banjo. Bear left. It's also very exciting. It just makes you want to dance, 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 dance machine. Now, the game skews young, real young. However, adults can enjoy it too, particularly adults with extended adolescence. You know the type. So, bears of the world, cherish this moment. A game like Banjo Pilot may never come around again. Banjo Pilot gets three picnic baskets out of five. Bad puns and Chumma Wumba references. We're raising the bar, people. Well, Banjo isn't really raising the bar either. It's a totally mediocre three out of five. Not really something you'd want to buy, but possibly something you'd want to rent from GameFi.com. They have hundreds of games that you can rent or buy. That way, you can save money to buy Halo 2 and Resident Evil 4 for your permanent collection instead of blowing it on a game about a flying bear. Actually, he, he didn't always fly. Banjo the Bear first appeared back in Diddy Kong Racer and then starred in two platformers on the N64. But why the developers named the Bear Banjo? Still a mystery. Well, he, he plays a banjo.